Hey, this is Chris. Today we're going to do a driver reviver review. And so what I want to do is just take you in the software, show you what it is, what it does, how it works, and that way you'll know if it's something that you actually need or not. There are a lot of driver software tools on the market. So sometimes it's, you know, does this one work? Should I get this one? And of course the expense goes into it normally you're going to find these tools running anywhere from 20 30 40 dollars this one here I believe is 29.95 uh, it does work well you can see here I just re-downloaded the trial version of it which you guys can find that link under this video if you're interested and what I'm going to do is kind of show you what the trial version has to offer and then you can choose from there if you want to upgrade it and use the full version which will actually allow you to update all of your drivers and so with driver reviver when you install it this is what you're going to see on your uh, main screen and you can see here it tells you the model of my computer the operating system it's running the memory my hard drives the processor and graphics card so right now I have this information right at hand and what I can do is I can just click either start scan now or I can click PC scan up here they both do the same thing that's going to start running through all the devices all the hardware on my computer and it's going to let me know if any of them needs updated now I don't know if you've ever tried to go out and search for drivers yourself um, but it can be a challenge to find the right drivers for your computer in fact if you go out and you search for drivers and you download the wrong one and you install it on your computer it can actually do more harm than good so I highly recommend whether you buy driver reviver or some other uh, driver update software that you at least use something uh, that's going to go out and automatically get these drivers for you that's going to save you many many hours of just searching the internet um, and the other thing is too if you've ever went out looking for drivers for your uh, computer um, you'll notice there's a lot of websites that offer these but they may not be um, from legit websites and so what you're downloading may not be the actual driver or it may have malware or viruses with it too so you're taking a big risk when you go out and do it yourself if you're not going straight to the manufacturers website to update your drivers now as you can see here I have five out-of-date drivers which is kinda surprising cause I try to keep these updated um, so I do have five right now that can be updated and you can see it checks everything from your PCI to your motherboard, your monitors, uh, USB ports, webcams, uh, your, your printer devices, your audio. So if you got issues with your audio not working right, if you got issues with your video not working right, whether you're on the internet or, or gaming and it's freezing and crashing, there's a good chance that that has to do with your drivers. And you can see everything on here that it goes through and it scans just to make sure it's up to date and if it's not up to date um, after it does this search you do have to purchase it uh, what you do is you just click on update all and it's going to come up and say update your, your drivers with the full version and so what you do is just click on purchase now and it'll take you to their website where you can buy it for I'm thinking around thirty dollars is what it cost um, but after that you just click update all and it's going to automatically update these drivers for you so you don't have to worry about messing with it anymore so a really good choice uh, for updating drivers if you're considering it it also has a button up here for backup so what you can do is you can back up all of your drivers on your computer so if for some reason if it downloads one and if it doesn't work right uh, you can just come back here and you can restore your backup to the previous version so it doesn't have any issues on your options you can schedule it to run at certain times uh, what I suggest doing is just ticking this box here automatically scan for drivers when the application starts and also ticking this one that says run on start so when your computer loads up it's automatically going to run this and every time it runs it it's going to scan for these drivers and um, and it'll update them so you won't have to worry about that anymore or those issues on your computer so this has been a driver reviver review I hope you guys found it useful if you did please like the video subscribe all that good stuff and um, and I'll try to get some more of these videos out there for you guys thanks